Welcome to StoryFlix. In this video, we will explain Kiss Him Not Me. This movie tells the story of a female otaku who loves reading yaoi and imagining men together in romantic relationships, both fictional and real. One day, she turned skinny due to stress until she became a bone of contention for four handsome boys at her school. Now she has to choose which of them deserves to be her boyfriend. Will she find true love who truly loves her for who she is? Let's find out in Kiss Him Not Me. Kiss Him Not Me begins by showing two handsome young men wearing medieval European aristocratic clothes. The two of them seem to be engaged in quite an intense conversation. But as it turned out, all of that was just the wishful thinking of a second-year high school girl named Kay Saranuma. Kay is a female fan of manga Raname, features romantic relationships between men, which is also known as Fujashi in Japan. Kay becomes excited over the sight of two boys together in a bus. Even though the two young men were just joking around like close friends. However, Kay, who is very fond of the romance that occurs between men, seems so happy to see the closeness of the two young men, to the point of imagining that they are dressed in medieval European aristocratic clothes and have a fairly intense relationship. Arriving at school, Kay still noticed the two young men who were on the bus with her, both of whom were her classmates. The black-haired youth is Yusuke Garashi, part of the soccer club. Kay described the young man as the boy next door, or a typical approachable and reliable young man. While the blonde named Nozomu Nanashima is categorized as a bad boy type and resembles Sean, Kay's favorite Aname character. When she was about to go to her class, Kay was greeted by her senior, a young man named Asuma Mitsumi. Asuma and Kay are part of the history club. Seeing Asuma smiling at her, Kay thought that he was a typical dominant and aggressive young man. Because she fantasized too much about Asuma, Kay didn't pay attention to her steps and collided with a handsome young man named Hayato Shinomiya, a first-year student and health committee member. Hayato has an efficient appearance, prone to blushing and getting flustered, and is often characterized as a tsundere. Even though Kay imagined Hayato as a typical submissive young man, it was the complete opposite of Asuma. One time, Kay and her friend, Amain, watched a basketball match at the school gym, and instead imagined the closeness of the students who took part in the match, while comparing them to their favorite male characters in the anime. That night, Kay was in her room to watch her favorite anime series, Mirage Saga, where she really liked Sean's character in the anime. However, she was surprised when she found out that Sean was declared dead in this episode. Sean's death in the anime immediately made her feel depressed. She is so shocked that she locks herself in her room for a whole week. Kay didn't even touch the food her mother brought. Worrying about Kay's condition, her mother then asked Takeru, Kay's older brother, to wake up and persuade Kay to leave the room. Takeru finally broke down the door to Kay's room, and how surprised he was when he saw his younger sister's condition, who looked very different because of her drastic weight loss. Not only Takeru, Kay doesn't even recognize herself when she looks in the mirror and realizes that now she has become thin and instead looks very dank due to depression and hunger strike for a whole week. The next day, at school, everyone didn't recognize Kay because she had lost a lot of weight and looked prettier. When she entered the class, her classmates were very surprised to find out that the beautiful girl who had just arrived was Kay Saranuma, a fat Fujashi. Kay, who was frustrated because everyone was always staring at her and no one believed that she was Kay Saranuma the fat Fujashi, then ran out of the classroom where she was then approached by four handsome boys at her school who were none other than Asuma, Yusuke Nozomu and also Hayato, who then asked her out. Immediately, Kay was shocked, because she had imagined the four of them in her fantasy as Fujashi a few days before. Unable to refuse the four handsome boys on a date, Kay decides to go on a date with the four of them at once. Long story short, Kay and the boys then went on a date together, where the four young men became the center of attention of women because of their good looks. While out for a walk, Kay passed a shop selling Aname merchandise. Kay tries to resist the temptation to enter the store and spend her money on a Name merchandise because she doesn't want the four guys who ask her out to think that she is an otaku freak. But because Kay had a hard time resisting the urge to enter the merchandise shop, she began to act strangely so that it even aroused the suspicions of the four handsome boys who were dating her. Kay finally gave in to her passion, where she then ran into the shop and bought her favorite Name character merchandise. She then exits the shop and reveals to the four handsome boys that she is an otaku. Amain asked Kay about her date with the four handsome boys the next day. Kay then told everything to her best friend. When the two of them were chatting, suddenly they were approached by a group of students who were members of the theater club. 
One of them, a student named Sakashita, asks Kei to be the female lead in a school play. Kei enthusiastically agreed to the request. During the rehearsal for the drama performance, Kei was accompanied by Yusuke, Nozomu, and Hayato. Too eager to practice to appear in a drama stage, Kei neglects her health and practices in the rain. Asuma then came and persuaded Kei to rest for a while. Kei went inside and dried herself. Asuma then checked Kei's temperature by pressing her forehead on her forehead and said that she had a fever and took her home. At home, her mother told Kei that her classmates came to visit when she was lying sick and brought cakes for her so that she would get well soon. After being sick at home after a week, Kei became fat again from overeating. Her classmates as well as Hayato seemed surprised by Kei's change in being fat. Yusuke, Nozomu and Hayato had thought to stop chazzing Kei because she was now fat. But Asuma seemed normal and didn't mind it. Nozomu then has an idea to train Kei's physique so that her body is back to thin and beautiful as before. But Asuma disagreed with the idea because he felt sorry for Kei if she was forced to do strenuous exercise just to be thin. Although now fat, Kei still continues to practice for school plays. But then, the supervising teacher of the theater club seemed dissatisfied with her chubby appearance and decided to replace her. Hearing this, Kei became sad and frustrated so she decided to lose weight. Nozomu and Hayato seemed enthusiastic about accompanying Kei during weight loss training and encouraging her to return to being thin and beautiful as before. Seeing Kei training too hard, Nozomu gradually became sorry for her and asked Kei to just stop. However, Kei refuses and is determined to lose weight to get a roll back. Amain then advised Nozomu and Hayato to bromance with each other so that Kei, who is a Fujashi, would be more enthusiastic about her practice. Nozomu and Hayato also followed Amain's advice. Even Yusuke also did so to make Kei more excited. Seeing this, Kei became very excited and managed to lose weight in a short time. Kei then thanked Nozomu, Hayato, Yusuke, and Asuma, who had always supported and accompanied her. Not long after, Nozomu and Kei were in the classroom alone, where Nozomu later confessed his love for Kei. Suddenly Kei was surprised by Nozomu's confession. It didn't stop there. Kei was surprised by Yusuke who also expressed his love for her. Likewise with Hayato and Asuma. Kei also felt very confused because four handsome young men confessed their love to her almost the same time. Therefore, Kei then asked Nozomu, Yusuke, Hayato, and Asuma to come to the school roof where she planned to give the four of them a riddle and whoever guessed the right answer would be her boyfriend. However, if no one managed to answer it, then she wouldn't be dating either of them. Nozomu, Yusuke, Hayato, and Asuma could each give the same number of correct answers. Until the last question, Kei asked them to correctly guess what she was thinking right now. In this last question, Asuma was the one who came out as the winner, so he was entitled to be Kei's boyfriend. After school, when they were walking alone, Asuma pointed out that Kei had lied when she said he answered the last question correctly. Asuma then thought that Kei chose him because she felt bad. Hearing this, Kei then apologized to Asuma because what he said was true. Kei looked sad and felt guilty for lying to Asuma, but he didn't mind it because Asuma actually really loved Kei, even before Kei lost her weight. Although Asuma looks more laid back and less competitive than the other boys, he can become aggressive when someone picks on Kei. Asuma is also very open-minded and doesn't seem to notice nor mind any of Kei's Fujashi eccentricities. Sometime later, Kei and the others then watched Yusuke, who was training for a drama performance where he turned out to be playing a prince. However, an incident caused the female lead to be disqualified from staging the drama. Sakashita then went to Kei and asked her to return to the role in the upcoming play. But Kei then refused his request and suggested that they appoint Nozomu to replace the female lead and become Yusuke's partner in the drama, which Kei deliberately proposed to satisfy her almost unstoppable Fujashi desire. Unexpectedly, the theater club welcomed Kei's proposal and finally paired Nozomu and Yusuke in a school play performance where the two handsome boys then made a romantic scene on stage. Meanwhile, Kei and Amain, who are Fujashi, watched the drama performance and were very excited to see Yusuke and Nozomu doing romantic scenes like their favorite anime characters and the film ended. The moral of this film is to always be yourself, even though you are an otaku. Because by being ourselves, we will meet people who accept and love us as we are. Thank you.